I'm standing on top of a metal cattle pen and I'm looking at this photo on my camera of the vast expanse of plain in front of me. If you do a full 360, you won't be able to see people, houses, cars, anything except for the grass and the tumbleweeds on this plane. And for me, this is a total novelty because I grew up in New York City and my whole life I was always searching to find my own space. And I'm here because I'm researching for a documentary I want to make about ranching in the 21st century. I'm working for this 60-year-old woman on a farm, having never done manual labor before, and I'm already totally out of my element. Today's job is to stack tumbleweeds in this abandoned corral on top of each other because the, the tumbleweeds are so dry and then you light them on fire and whoosh, they go up in flames super quickly because it's like they're doused in gasoline. And so that's how we're clearing this corral, slowly but surely. And I'm looking at this photo right now when I'm taking a break and suddenly I hear the words, fire, fire, fire. And my initial reaction is like, isn't that not very out of the ordinary? Like, haven't we been lighting things on fire this entire time? But then I look up and I see there are pillars of smoke and there's so much flames all around me and it's starting to sear my skin and I panic, I freak out. I'm recording this fire and I'm not helping for a good 30 seconds. And then suddenly I snap out of it and I say, let's dig a fire line. And I don't even know what a fire line is, but I'm suddenly digging it. And time is ticking and I suddenly hate the fact that we're in the middle of nowhere because where is the fire department when you need them? And so I'm fighting this fire for 45 minutes on end. And by the time the fire department shows up, I'm sitting next to this woman. There are only a couple flickering flames and I'm covered in soot and ash, but I'm smiling because I've accomplished something that I never thought in a million years I would ever do. Who thought that I would become an honorary member of the Pueblo Fire Department? Anyway, all I know is that finally we had cleared all of those tumbleweeds.